Hi everybody, today is August 29th, 2020, 75 Fahrenheit, 24 Celsius. I'm at the Prospect Park subway station right now, and today I'll be walking in the neighborhood of Prospect Lefferts Gardens, which is right next to Prospect Park. This is one of the main roads in Prospect Lefferts Gardens. Flatbush Avenue and let me just walk over to Prospect Park first so you can get oriented where this is now this over here I believe is a dollar van in addition to the public buses around here they have these private companies which drive up and down Flatbush Avenue and other streets in the area and just drop people off all for a buck or so here's the intersection of Ocean uh, Ocean Avenue Empire Boulevard and Flatbush Avenue And Prospect Park is right there, across the street. Here's a bus, the B-16. And on that corner over there is the Brooklyn Botanic Garden. Although this isn't the main entrance. The main entrance, I believe, is around the corner on Washington Avenue. There's also another fairly large entrance on Eastern Parkway right next to the Brooklyn Museum. Here's a Wendy's restaurant. I'll tell you a little bit of history about Prospect Lefferts Gardens. It's mostly a residential neighborhood made up mostly of African Americans and Caribbean Americans. But it has been slowly gentrifying since the early 2000s. And the neighborhood's name, Prospect Lefferts Gardens, is a combination of three different names. Prospect Park, which I explained before, Lefferts Manor, and Brooklyn Botanic Garden. And originally, like most other places in New York, it was settled by the Dutch back in the mid-1600s. And there was this guy, his name was Lefferts. He owned a lot of land in this area. In 1893, his uh, land was broken up into an area which is now, um, which was then known as Lefferts Manor and sold to developers. So that's where the Lefferts name comes from. Mr. Lefferts was a very wealthy individual. So this is actually like the northern boundary of Prospect Lefferts Gardens. Empire Boulevard, it's fairly busy here. But you got all your fast food dining options here that's for sure. Checkers is over there and also McDonald's. As of today New York City has not reopened indoor dining yet so it's only takeout and dining outside. Let me get off Empire Boulevard and show you one of the residential streets. Oh, and over there was uh, Popeye's Louisiana Chicken and Dunkin' Donuts. Right now, this is Washington Avenue. Wow, take a look at this building here across the street. Looks like an old, like, warehouse or something. 
but part of the space is occupied. And this half over here looks a little bit disorganized. But Planet Fitness is on the second floor of this building. Here's uh, Sterling Street. You can see some of the houses down this block. I'm going to walk on Washington Avenue just for a little bit so you get a feel of what's around here. Many apartment buildings here. They got the fire escapes going up there. Looks like a very nice community space. Two benches over there. And there you can see one of the newer buildings that went up. Here's the New Testament church. This store seems to be fairly popular. D Hot Pot restaurant and Roddy shop. So a Caribbean restaurant. I'm sure the Caribbean food here is delicious. Especially Roddy, I'm a big fan of Roddy. One thing that's great about New York City is the availability of different food choices. Here's another place called Kulushkat. I think that's how you say it. Chinese takeout place. I'm at the intersection of Washington Avenue and Flatbush Avenue now. I believe this is where Washington Avenue ends, so it just becomes Flatbush Avenue now. If you take Flatbush Avenue all the way down to the end of Brooklyn, you'll cross over into the Rockaways. That's the borough of Queens. I just kicked a empty plastic cup. There's a lot of different activity around here. Brick oven pizza, beauty supply place. Here's a Dominican hairstylist. Check cashing place. Love the name of this place, Just Fishy and Flatbush Bagel. Of course, a neighborhood is not complete in New York City without a bagel place. You can take a peek inside. Those bagels look delicious. Oh, wow. So I just turned onto Maple Street off of Flatbush Avenue. I'll show you one of the residential streets in Prospect Lefferts Gardens.
But as I said earlier in this video, it's mostly a residential neighborhood. So I won't expect to see any activity here at all. Well, I should say limited activity. There's some people walking there, but. A lot of brick homes here with driveways. Although some of these driveways are a little bit tight. Take a look at this one. The clearance on this isn't really too wide. I love nice little residential blocks like this. Three stories in that home. This property over here has got a very nice front lawn. A lot of space here. Actually, this home even seems historic. Oh wow, now that I mentioned that, I have a... Um, brown marker ahead of me usually that indicates a historic district in New York City so this might be the old Leffers Manor or something because there's no way that there will be a house this grand and just in the middle of the block like this without a meaning something you see Prospect left its garden, historic district. Here's Bedford Avenue. Bedford Avenue is the longest running continuously named street in Brooklyn. It goes all the way from Greenpoint to Sheep's Head Bay. It also has a bike route throughout most of its route too. I highly recommend if people are into cycling to come give Bedford Avenue a try. You get to see a lot of different neighborhoods. It's a pleasant experience. Although it's not a protected bike lane though, but you have to use your own judgment riding here. But I do find it a little more pleasant than Ocean Avenue or is it Ocean Parkway? I always get it mixed up. 
is Ocean Parkway. Ocean Parkway has the bike lane to Coney Island. I don't know why the city did that. They named two streets Ocean and I always mix them up. And these are gorgeous homes. I think I'll even walk on the other side of the street. This is definitely a historic district. Pretty much the entire area of the old Lefferts Manor has become today's Prospect Lefferts Gardens. That's a cute looking dog. Nice little area there for plants, flowers. Also good that the community has signs up here to ask people to pick up after their pets. I don't know what this is supposed to be though. Looks like a big mess of weeds. Oh, here's a uh, sign with some information. As I said, developed in the earlier 20th, 20th century by the heirs of the Lefferts family. Here's Rogers Avenue. Rogers Avenue up there. Not too much going on on this street other than the car traffic. There's more of a residential street than um, back there, Washington Avenue and Flatbush Avenue, but there are some places around here laundromat, shipping place, an engineering place, and there's also a fire a firehouse over there. The 
you can tell the cicadas are really acting up today. Across the street is the Maple Street Community Garden. These cicadas are everywhere. You know, if you hear them, summer's in season, and it's probably a humid day. So the street I'm about to turn right at, Nostrand Avenue, this is probably the other main street in Prospect Lefferts Gardens that I want to show you. There's a lot of activity on Notion Avenue. The subway runs directly underneath Notion Avenue, the two and five lines. And the first thing I notice coming onto Notion Avenue is the size of this church. It is huge. Wow. And you see here all the activity of Prospect Leffes Farms over here. Current Rolls Pharmacy, another salon. Also the red brick restaurant. Get all your Caribbean dishes here, jerk chicken, oxtail, curry goat, curry chicken, and roti. Excellent dishes. Also yours and mine, full service hair salon. And we got a real estate office over here with legal services as well. Usually they go hand in hand. Also a community market on the corner of the street, La Bay Markets. Also another laundromat. Many of these homes here, they don't have washers and dryers in their units. They have to bring their clothes to the laundromat in order to do them. And another hair salon, wow, exclusive touch. I know hair salons are in high demand here. Some of these hairstyles, they can take a long time to do and it's impossible to get them done on your own. Wow, look at this. They're cooking up a storm here. It smells so good. I think there's a pig in there. But when that'll be finished, I and mean, when that's finished, it's going to be delicious. I know it. Because it already smells good. Here's the Brooklyn Paint Factory, or Paint Night, I should say. Brooklyn Paint Night.
I noticed several places across the street that are closed, and they shouldn't be. Desserts by Michael Allen, this Chinese takeout restaurant's closed. I hope the uh, pandemic hasn't forced these businesses to close. Lamb Spa, a mail room service, and a pawn shop too. There's a neat looking restaurant called the Biscuits and Beer. Right now these restaurants have to be creative and offering their food outdoors. They got these tents set up and all the tables. Also, a sign of the times is an overflowing garbage bin. The city sanitation department has some funds removed in the latest city budget, so as a result, many of these collections are being um, picked up less frequently, which is definitely a shame. Got a beauty salon over there. Also a few churches here. It's a learning academy across the streets. Gotta watch out on these sidewalk cellar doors. Also, it looks like some of them are in a bad shape. I don't like to step on them if I can, if I can uh, avoid it. Avoid it if I can talk right. There's a West Indian grocery store. All the stuff looks very fresh. These grocery stores were very important contributors to the neighborhood and the community, especially during the height of the pandemic in March and April. I've approached the intersection of Winthrop Street and Nostrand Avenue. The subway is here also, right there across the street for Manhattan and the Bronx. But the Brooklyn side subway stop, I don't see. Maybe it's up ahead. Kind of strange how I know there's a subway stop here, but the entrance isn't exactly on Winthrop Street. Only the Manhattan bound side is. Here's the B44 bus, which travels on Nostrand Avenue. There's also a B44 select bus as well, which makes fewer stops than the local bus. 
and you also pay before you get on on that select bus. Here you pay, you pay in front. Well, you're supposed to pay in front, but as of Monday, August 31st, you have to pay in the front. Right now, the local buses are free because of the e pandemic. All right, here's the Brooklyn bound platform over here, Winthrop Street subway station. But this is Parkside Avenue. I'll walk on Parkside back over to Flatbush. Here's the Parkside Preparatory Academy and P141K school. And wow, someone just left the wheelchair here. That's kind of random. I wouldn't want to be leaving a wheelchair somewhere. This school is huge. It takes up the entire block. Three schools. No, it's not one school. It's three schools in there. I know from the sign. Explore Charter School, Parkside Preparatory Academy, and P141K. Wow. Three schools in one. Whew. A lot of grocery crates here and wooden pallets. Maybe this is a distribution center. Definitely not the cleanest block in New York City that I've ever walked, but at least it's functional, that's for sure. Look at this, there's even a rolled up carpet over there. That's completely random. Here's Rogers Avenue again. Well, here's a restaurant you might miss if you're walking on the main avenue. Aquaba Restaurant. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. African and American restaurant. Only take out. Look at this. Is this another school? Yeah, it is. On the facade there, I see Public 92 School. All right, so. I gotta walk around this construction truck. I might be doing gardening. Yeah.
Here's a new tree in the neighborhood. Good to know the city is still planting new trees. A lot of them got taken down after the tropical storm hit about three weeks ago. That was tropical storm Isaias. Here we see more of the apartment buildings that are more common around this part of Prospect Lefferts Gardens. Here's Bedford Ave again. There's a lot of the older homes over here. You know, it was supposed to rain very hard today due to another tropical storm that was supposed to come. That was um, Storm Laura. I brought this huge umbrella with me and I didn't have to use it once. The places across the street even have front lawns. Over here there are no front lawns but driveways. Well this one does. These are starting to have front lawns now. It's just amazing how much one block makes a difference because back there we had all that garbage thrown around and then here you've got nice homes and well tailored lawns.
All right, I've made it to Flatbush Avenue and Parkside Avenue. I already see a lot of different eating options around here. Wow. I didn't expect it to be this lively here. Got Popeye's, Louisiana chicken, an Italian pizzeria, the Parkside Corner Deli, Walgreens, and also all the activity that comes with Flatbush Avenue. This being a road that connects the Rockaways to the Manhattan Bridge. But I think I'm going to end the video here, everybody. If you like the video, be sure to smash the like button down below. Subscribe if you haven't already to the channel. I don't know what you're waiting for. And I'll see you all next time. Take it easy.